Uh, or you have to create a body of art, or you have to make a fast buck, because one of the things... Fast? That, yeah. It took me four years to get Shivers made, and I made $13,000 for it. That's not a fast, and it's not much of a buck, either. I but mean, your films do make money, sir. Yes, that film finally did make money when it finally got done, and uh, if, you, if you consider how long I made it, it would probably average it out to about $9,000 a year doing that film. Well, because that's one of the things that bothers the Canadian Film Development Corporation, is you go and you borrow money from them, you make these dreadful movies, or the, the so-called dreadful by the critics, yeah. you make a buck and return the loans instantly to mm -hmm. the CFTC, and they don't want to admit that they're funding you as a Canadian filmmaker. Well, in a, in a way that's true, actually, because uh, Shivers caused a lot of embarrassment in the Houses of Parliament. And people were, were wandering around the Secretary of State's offices muttering, what are we going to do about Cronenberg? Now, this is as though they had nothing else to worry about. But that's, that, that, the problem there was that, that this Film Development Corporation is a government organization. The people who work for it are civil servants. They have to answer to two masters. One is business. If the films don't make money, they say, why is this film losing money? If the film does make money but is sensationalistic in any way, which it really has to be to make money, uh, questions are raised in the Houses of Parliament. Why, why, why is tax money? money? No, why is oh. tax money going oh. into this this obscene, perverse film? And they say, well, it made its money back in about three weeks, and so the money has has been re recouped.